Hello everybody and welcome back to Crusader Kings. We have reached the high medieval time so we are finally now in are in this area. That means that we can now finally also start well researching those tax here. I'm still though, researching old tax first to early medieval. What is very important to me is the coinage. So this gives me some development growth of plus 10 in my domains which is something that I really want to go with. Um, on the other hand we also have some horseshoes for example. Movement speed plus 10% for my well armies or the battlements unlocks your early e medieval era fortification buildings very important so and uh, without this we cannot well you know continue because we cannot um, upgrade my forts and stuff like that and that is something we really have to go with so until we go with the early early medieval tag it is still some time now on the other hand we have some interesting stuff going on beside our naked faction in Trent even before it is completed merchants have begun traveling along the new road yep we do have a new road here and Gertrude suggests that those who use the road should contribute to, to its construction and we gain some money with that or we lose control. Yeah, into my pocket. A bit of money, why not? Um, in that case here, we have an interesting thing happening here. The Kingdom of Bohemia at the moment is independent. So it's not part of Bavaria anymore, where it was before. Um, in that case, she's alone. She has some allies, of course, that are not that powerful. I do have quite a few allies now that I could call into war. And in that regard, it might be interesting to actually go with her. Also, the king of Bavaria is really, I mean, really weak at the moment. Look at him. He has two wars, no allies, weak armies. So it is a good idea, actually, to also wage war against him. We do have a few options here. First of all, Augsburg, we have the duchy title. So we have the digital claim on this one, right? So um, against her, she's a, a bit more powerful here, right? She's, she's the duchy of Augsburg. We would finally have this. She's inferior, but not that inferior. So it's it's not the word, the best thing, right? We have um. Do we still have the claim on Munich? I think we have. So I might also go against him, right? Um, my claim, which would be Berchtesgaden. It doesn't even cost us that much. We would also have the sure claim on Swabia. On Württemberg. Simon has on Hesse, but that is far away. But my claim on Berchtesgaden is something that I'm interested in. Right, um, he's vastly inferior and it only cost me 56 prestige. So I'm going with that. We're going against war against Bavaria for the first time, I think, like with this direct confrontation. Let's raise my armies there. Should we call anyone into war? That is my big question. We do have a few allies. Some of them, especially England here, is actually quite powerful. Will cost me though, yeah, 350 prestige. Chandon here, call to war should be quite cheap. Let's do this. Doesn't cost me that much and makes it a bit safer, the whole thing. Right, so we are at war. We have some 5,000 soldiers available. So the first thing, of course, we're going to claim Berchtesgaden for ourselves. Oh, supply limit has not been reached yet. Um, with the ongoing war, levies are using the completed parts of the road to quicken their march. Thankfully, heavy use is exactly what is needed to stomp the ground into shape. And get them into the front lines. Improved military infrastructure. Maintenance men at arms. Minus 15%. This is pretty powerful. Yep, that was really a nice bump there in my in my money. Which I'm losing at the moment. And the road is finally complete. These roads will be the county's pumping veins for generations. And we do gain a lifestyle perk with that. And holding taxes plus 10% for Trent. Nice one. And let's just see. Centralization, development growth in my realm capital is increased even more. And martial position. Wait a second. We do still have... No, we don't have to do it anymore. Yeah, let's accept martial for now. Gives me some money there as well. Something that we can need, of course. And call to war. I'm not going to join for now. We're going to take Bathless uh, Garden first, but this is quite a fort level here. I think we cannot take this step right. Yep, we cannot finish this fort because the fort level is too high for it. Incredible. Then we have to march for the capital of Bavaria right away. For the king himself. <laughs> what? What is going on? This guy here is in... Oh, he's in prison down here in the Duchy of Barcelona. Where he is losing the war. <laughs> Incredible, but we cannot win this. Let's let's go someplace else and take everything else then that we can take. 
Ski mit Cold. Oh, but my ally, he's got um, the nice siege weapons. So he's able to take it. So, yeah, he can actually lay siege to it. Oh, it was worth it after all to take my vassal there. Or to take, yep, to call in my ally. And we gain another stewardship point. Um, yeah, yeah, tax man, even though I don't use that skill at all. Scheme at court, my spy master's come to me with a discovery. She's certain that my chancellor is scheming against my knight. And she's exposed. No, I would like to have a hook on her. Is that possible? Throw her in jail. Okay. She's a powerful va uh, ally, or vassal, sorry. So it's a good idea to have her in jail then. Um, Bavaria, meanwhile, is in my territory, but not with very strong forces. So, of course, we're going to take it, or we're going to take them one by one. And there we have one battle. Pretty big battle, by the way, as well. My ally still takes county after county. He should do that. We've won this battle there. And my chancellor, I need a chancellor. I do have a vassal who would like to be that. Let's do this. At the moment, it's looking rather fine, right? There is no ally or no barbarian forces at the moment. There they are, trying to do something. We are at 60% now. Oh, the fight for Bavari uh, for Berchtesgaden continues. A new lover! Yeah, let's do this. Sorry, I really don't have time for this right now. Let's. I need to, to kill them there. Um, I've come to discover my most appalling truth about Count Simon. Oh, my nephew, okay, not my son. Though I loathe bringing this to matter. Do we get a hook? Yes, reveal a hook on him. Because he is a pretty powerful um, vassal. And we learn of a murder secret. Paying for war wars are expensive. And with my treasury rapidly emptying, it doesn't really. I need to think about uh, how we'll pay it. Uh, let's try this challenge again. 84%. Ah, very good. At least that is successful for once. We are at 86% winning rate. We can actually win this war. Let's go with... Uh, do we have Munich yet? Nope. Let's also claim Munich for us. I, I don't see any other trades here at the moment. We gained the Adulterer trade. Oh, because my lover was underaged, most likely. And? What? Oh, my lover! We've got a son, Jacob, and no, he's a bastard. Because we do have an heir, and I will pretty much die soon anyway. We've won the war, by the way, against Bavaria. And thus we have gained Berchtesgaden. That's pretty much, that's pretty amazing. Gotta say that. Berchtesgaden. I did not expect to get this anytime soon. But it is really close now to Salzburg. So Salzburg would actually be my next option. Duchess Roser has Salzburg at the moment. And this guy here of Bavaria is the king of Bavaria at the moment. He's too, he's got no alliances, almost no levies. But the problem is we have a truce until... 1080 uh, for five years but in five years i could actually go for salzburg and i think that of salzburg i do have berchtesgaden now hallstatt linz salzburg and schaumburg would be the ones in this area then as well all right this war we've won we also gained another perk for that ransom count nushin no she can stay there and grand vassal good tidings have decided to make count henry of asturia your vassal where is he once again down here yes let's accept and we gained a new vassal here it's incredible i don't want to have anything here but i'm still getting those counties there um not a bad thing of course because they still pay me taxes and stuff like that so i can keep that but if anyone wages war against me for one of them i will just give it up i guess because my focus as i said is really here um and it's actually looking pretty good in this area right now 
Berta's garden is new now. Very good. Um, I think my wife. Where's my wife? Why is she not in my council? I have no available spouse because we're not married yet. But we are. And we have Jacob, our bastard son now as well here. Let's have a look at my Simon there real quick. He's getting better and better. He's got some good stewardship there as well. I like that. Um, and he's also got the first son already, Simon. And he is intelligent at least, right? So that is looking pretty good. Um, got no marriage yet, so I will deal with that once I am Simon. Um, I'm not going to release her. I don't like her. What? Against my son, I'm not using a hook there. Um, we have the low control now in Bachtes Garden, but other than that, pretty fine. Bachtes Garden is really powerful. Got a castle. A castle, that is pretty good. During the daily management of my realm, I have learned of several different opportunities I can pursue. Each opportunity has great potential. I've heard rumors of a lost tome. Countess Sophie could use help managing her holdings or securing those trade deals with a bit more money. Or we gain obtained lost knowledge. Since I'm pretty old, I'm not in for the trades anymore. I want the money directly. Because I don't think that I'm going to live that much longer. I, I'm 65 now. Right, so we should use some of that prestige. Now we don't have that much prestige actually. But we can construct something. An outpost, a barracks, or the military camps. Let's see. Or can I upgrade the city? No, I cannot do that because I don't have the windmills as we know. I also cannot upgrade the temple. So Innsbruck is pretty much developed right now. Let's just have something small. Tax office, mine. Nope. Cannot do that. So let's really just go for the outposts then. Right. -o. And continue building somewhere else. We have Zurich. Right. So we might just continue doing something here. We have Trent. I might. Yeah. Oh yeah. I might upgrade the city. That's a huge boost. Let's upgrade the city. Since Trent, I, I, could, I, well, I count Trent as my core county. You know, my core, my core domain, domain. So I'm going to develop this one as well there. Um, and Zurich is now Bavarian as well. Another culture that we have now. So we have quite a lot of cultures. Um, Ravensburg is still Swabian. Kempton is Bavarian. So Ravensburg, we should go with... Um, Bavarian there as well. Right, so other than that, it's looking pretty fine. Um, the claim on Salzburg, I'm not doing that with my bishop now, because I think we're too old for that. Right, so I, I think we will not... Uh, we might lose the claim then on that. What I can do, though, is that Swabia, who's partly independent here, I want that Augsburg. Let's see. That's her. She's the sure Augsburg. She's... Oh, she's pretty strong. Yep. Of Bohemia. She's scattered throughout Europe. <laughs> but she's pretty strong when it comes to the military force she's got. Especially with some alliances there. Kingdom of Bohemia. He's going to be the heir. And he's even stronger, I think. Huh. That's a tricky one. There's no other way to get Augsburg, right? Nope. Scheme at court. My spymaster has come that Count Henry is scheming against me. This guy here who dresses like... How the hell? What is going on with him? He's albino torturer. He's looking like it. And he's an amateurish plotter. Alright, let the traitor be known to all. Uh, throw him into jail. Let's do this. And he can stay there. In my prison. They all rot. A scheme at court. Another one. My bishop. Throw him into jail. You serious? I have no. I have nothing against that, you know, in that case. Alright, there's still a few things that I can do right now. Because we got some very weak leaders around us. Bavaria and Frankia both are pretty weak. And Colmer is something that we had once at some point and I think we can take it let's have a look the Duchess here is holding the title she is 
yeah, also has the same leech that I have. So we can declare war on her right away. And as we can see, she's pretty weak. We do have the sure claim on the Duchy of Alsace, but I want to seize the County of Colmar here. That is more important to me right now. It's th She's very weak, um, so we win this quite easily. In that case, the only thing that I would need to do is, once again, have my rally point then right here, raise my armies there. That's fine. We also gain another point, that is the levy reinforcement rate is plus 100% is increased with that and as we can see that's all that she really can actually muster there so it should be easy to take very good defeated her main army there and now we're just taking colmer and then it belongs to us basically so this is just a small addition to the whole thing also this has been refined here with the latest update it looks really cool looks really nice now these new graphics that we have there also a new sp oh no i've lost my major spy master but look at that mayor gundpol of kidsbull has 28 intrigue Plus he's my vassal. Of course I want to use that. Alright, there we've taken it and Colmer basically belongs to us in that regard. Let's disband my army and she of course is still now in it, but she's now my vassal in that case. Right, so this is now within our realm. Something that was quite successful I should say. And we might also inherit Negev, it seems. That is once again something, yeah, that is really far away. I mean, look at that. It's in the Middle East. I don't know why I would like to marry, uh, get this one. We are not getting it anyway. Don't worry. Um, yeah. Please let the truce end soon. We have one more year and then we could wage war against Bavaria again. And we do have quite a lot of claims. Munich, for one, is it. Um, and of course, Salzburg is really close to us now. And I so do I Salzburg there. We got a new leech, Emperor Othon II. He's also pretty weak, so in that case, an independence war would we would win this one. We gain Marshal, Council position, very good. I'm not going to be independent though, because I don't see any real advantage here. Um, being the vassal of him, we would, you know, we barely lose anything because the level is two. Right, so we only have. Pro provide 5% of levies and 2% of the income, so it's really not much. Um, on the other hand, we do gain, um, well, a right to conquer basically everything here. And also, with the council position, some real money there that I don't want to give up at the moment. I can go against Duke Franz because this guy here, we have a hook on him. So we can go with high taxes if we want to, or high levies. Um, and I think high taxes is something that I want more. Let's modify the contract. And thus we gain a bit more money there as well. With this thing. Oh, I love that. I absolutely love that, that we can use these hooks on something. Let's just check my counselors there real quick. First of all, I lost the marshal, but I do have a vassal who would like to be my marshal. Increasing the control in Berchtesgaden is important. And my wife is pregnant. I'm 69. Is that really going to be our son? All right, available. Oh, we have a new dynasty legacy because we have 2,000 renown right now. We can decide something new. So we do have a few already. We have the blood. This gives me a chance of inheriting good congenital traits. Um, we could continue with that chance of reinforcing congenital traits by another 30%. This is really powerful. And I think this is more powerful than all the rest. So in, in that case, I'm going with that. So that there is an even higher chance that good traits get inherited in the future. This is something we really want to push in that regard. And I was so expecting it, kind of. We have died. I was really expecting it, in a good way though, right? We were old, it was basically over, um, and we got a new one now. So, Peter of Asturias died, and thus is born Simon II of Asturias. Alrighty. We have a new leech with him now. It stays pretty much the same everything. So we inherited the king title. Nothing happened really. I mean, in that case, yeah, we have the new council that we need to go with. And, well, a new lifestyle choice. Diplomacy would be one thing, but we don't have that much here yet. So, once again, I'm going with stewardship. There is no way around this. It's just too powerful in my case. Um, especially with the realm of our size. Um, domain focus we would have or income focus. Let's go with the domain focus once again. Alright, and we can actually... What? We can still spend something here? Doesn't make sense. 
offer vassalization acceptance. You can use befriend children, receive one to three extra skill points. Let's go with that. But then we now focus on the stewardship. We can now also have these uh, seven holdings that we still have, right? So that is Innsbruck once again, my core domain um, and all the rest that we have here. Very important. We have to nominate a successor, which of course is going to be our son. So Prince Simon. And in that case, let's just check. We do need someone for him as well. So Alliance Power might be the one. Byzantine Empire. Very, very powerful. 15,000 soldiers. This would really give us a lot of boost. Is she halfway good? She's fickle. Um, she's got no real traits though. Is there anyone with the genius trait? Mm, old to old. There's no way for that. Let's go with Byzantine for now. Um, until we are inbred. But doesn't mean that that's bad right now. right? We can always skip the whole thing once again. Um, and there's just no one that would come even close to the whole thing here. Frank here. Okay, we would then be allied with my leech. Hmm. No, I, I guess Byzantine... I, yeah. Oh, comely. This is also congenital. Fertility plus 10%. She's pleasant to look at. She's four. Bertha of Francia. Uh, we might actually go with this. Yeah, we have some good congenital uh, inheritable traits then. We gain lots of prestige with that. And we are allied with Francia. Let's go with my council positions. So, yeah. He is my vassal. And he's got very good diplomacy ratings. For the steward. We never really have a good steward. We have one that we could recruit. And I'm doing that because we just don't have anyone better. Marshall. My vassal with 16 points. And I think I saw some very powerful one. Yes, there he is again with the 28. My wife is going to manage the domain for me. And everything else stays the same basically. Except that we now have a claim of fabricating a claim on Salzburg. Takes 15 months. Right, we have some prisoners here. Martin. He's a nobody. Um, vassals. She doesn't like me, so I'm going to keep her in prison. He doesn't like us. Oh, those are the ones that were conspiring against me. I will keep them there. Look at how much prestige and gold we have. We have 1,800 prestige with the new leader. We are still head of the Bavarian culture, right? We are genius, so we have very high traits everywhere. Stewardship is our highest one in that regard. I do have a daughter as well. There might be another alliance power. This is incredible. This is truly incredible here. Where is that? That is far away though. It would take time for them to arrive. We could also go with Bavaria. Wait a second. Can we go matrilineal? Nah. That would have been too good to be true. Italy. Kingdom of Italy. As our ally. Yep, I think we go with that. Oh, we can also decide. That is something I just saw for the first time. We can see who would accept matrilineal. This is interesting. There's, of course, no one really powerful here. Oh, wait a second, there. But nah, I want, I want the Byzantine or this one here. It's just so powerful. No one would wage war against us. We can always skip it later then. Right. Two very powerful alliances that we have there. Really good. We are off to a very good start. We are, by the way, now part of the Kingdom of Italy. So Francia kind of like disintegrated um, the Empire. And we are now part of Italy. Which is not a bad thing. Because especially since the king of Italy is probably pretty weak. And yeah, we could go with an independence war anytime we want to. Interesting stuff. I first want to go with Salzburg though. As long as Bavaria is still so weak. Stay tuned. <laughs> 